think about the definition that was some mere student came up with, how <laughs> happy I am with it. Uh, I'll explain. So the, the, I, I reworded it slightly. It doesn't give the appear. It doesn't have to give the appearance of being fully human. Just some some aspect of human intelligence, maybe a very simple aspect of human intelligence that we share with animals. So it's all about appearances, um, and, and I think that's very good. I think that really does capture it. Uh, when, what do you mean incorporating some aspect? I mean, these are all vague words. Uh, there's, there's at least a couple of metaphors. One is the idea of a little man inside it. I mean, you've probably seen it. And it's important that it's appearance. Now, if you build something that actually has a man inside it, that's not AI. It's just, <laughs> that's just plain fraud in a sense. So it's, it's um, notice that it doesn't have to do anything useful. And I think that's important too. There, a, a lot of AI is very useful. Uh, but it doesn't have to be useful to be called AI. Uh, for example, Eliza, the, uh, the chatbot that simulated a psychologist, I don't think it's very useful. I wouldn't recommend anybody take counseling from Eliza. So it's not, oh, some people want to wear it, but it might do you good. Uh, it wasn't intended to be useful, but it was intended to give the appearance. And the crucial thing is that there wasn't a person. There was no person behind typing the responses it merely gave that illusion. And I think that works out really well. Now there's other de other definition. Um, the one I've been using up to now, it's very similar, but I don't think it's as good, which is that um, artifacts that perform tasks That hitherto required human intelligence, and there's there's some really subtle differences between this. I mean, this is pretty good. I, I've been using this one up now. It's not quite the same thing. Uh, this is a lot more goal oriented. It's in it's inherent in this definition here that you're performing a task and doing something useful. It's not inherent in that one. I think this is a little better. Uh, and there's another one. That this is what's known as weak AI. I think they both refer to what's known as weak AI. There's also a notion, strong AI, which some of the early visionaries, uh, which has inspired a lot of work, but I don't think has ever been achieved, is artifacts. that emulate a human thought processes, intelligent thought process. Uh, this is what's known as strong AI. You can actually sum them up, but, and in, in terms of summing up, I, I, we're going to get the same thing in brief. Uh, the difference is machines that appear to think that's weak AI by either definition. I think this definition is actually closer to the, the weak AI and machines that think is the strongest. Although nobody, uh, it, it's very important that nobody insists that these artifacts, as I, I, I've said this, I'm repeating myself, nobody insists they have full human capabilities. That's, everybody agrees that's ridiculous. Like, well, uh, everybody agrees we don't have that now. Uh, most people agree that this is not in the conceivable future. Uh, there's always a few people who think that's around the corner. So it's, it's about appearances. So um, weak AI is machines that appear to think, whereas strong AI is machines that sometimes actually think. Now, this would be great if we could do this, if we have machines that work like humans do, because then we'd much, be much closer to the, the ultimate goal, which is meeting or succeeding human intelligence. But I don't think anybody has ever made a convincing case that any machine thinks like humans do. Now, there's plenty of machines that appear to think. That, that we'll talk about some of those. There's plenty of machines that, in some, even if we know they don't, they appear to think. That's, that can be done. And I, it can be quite impressive. But I've never seen any machine that you could argue that I've been persuaded actually does think. And part of the reason is we. 
we just don't really know how humans think. We don't really know. We have some few ideas. We, we say psychiatrists and psychologists have an understanding of sort of higher level aspects of human personality, but just how we figure things out and so on, that's not clear. Um, so there we go. 